Welcome back to this week's episode of Austin's Academy of Sports, where we dive deep into the topic of the Great Lakes Loons. You know, I recently acquired a job working for the Great Lakes Loons as part of the stats crew, and I have yet to do a podcast about where I work, the Great Lakes Loons. Um, They're a great team, local team here in Midland, and I'm from Saginaw, so not far not that far of a drive, obviously, but it's um, been a great experience so far. Um, this week and next week, they're on the road, but they are one of the best teams in the league, and I will give you the standings a little bit later into the, into the show. But without further ado, since there's not very much sports going on, I mean, in the NBA playoffs, we do have the uh, Nuggets, Denver Nuggets. They beat the Los Angeles Lakers to advance to the finals. That starts on June 1st for any NBA fans on my show. Um, And then tonight, of course, uh, Thursday night, is the Game 5, Boston Celtics versus the Miami Heat. I'm hoping the Miami Heat get it done and advance to the finals for a Miami Heat-Denver Nuggets finals matchup. That would be pretty fun and pretty entertaining to watch with Nikola Jokic and Jimmy Butler going at each other. But that's it for the NBA playoffs. The NHL playoffs are going on. Um, South Florida, they made it to the uh, Stanley Cup Finals. And we don't know who made it to the other Stanley Cup Finals yet, as there's another match going on. And for the MLB, that season is going on right now. Uh, If you're a Detroit Tigers fan, they're second place in the division. but, But the... I don't know. The negative to that is the they're under 500, but in second place they're 22 and 25, three games under. Uh, AL Central is just a terrible division with the Minnesota Twins leading it right now. So you kind of got no no reference there because of uh, how bad the division is. But anyways, the Tigers are in second place. They do play tonight, 6:40, back in Comerica. Um, they. This morning, they just got some news that um, Meyer. I don't know if anybody shops there. It's a pretty popular Michigan store located everywhere around. Meyer is teaming up with the Detroit Tigers, and they're getting a patch on their side jersey for home and road, home and home and away jerseys, as they're like resembling. I guess you could say. I haven't read into the article that much, but they're resembling the team. Uh, that's kind of what the era of baseball has come to. It's going to happen sooner or later with most teams, as some teams have already done that, got their their paid promotion and ad advertisement, and Meyer happens to be Detroit Tigers. And I like that store. It's be- I think it's better than Kroger and Walmart. But anyways, tangent there. So let's get back to the Loons. The Loons are officially 26-15, and 15, the best team in high A baseball right now, Midwest League, any league in the mid in the high A right now, they're the best team. Um, they are obviously the Los Angeles Dodgers uh, high A affiliate, as the Los Angeles Dodgers are one of the better teams in the MLB. So it kind of comes like uh, monkey see, monkey do there, I guess. They're, the Dodgers three minor league teams are very good. Um, you've got the uh, Great Lakes Loons, of course. You've got, uh, I don't know them off the top of my head. I should know them. But they're they're up there in their division. I know that for sure, uh, be, just because I've heard coworkers talk about it. And their Dodgers farm system will always be good. They've got great talent up in the league right now, and they've got even better talent down in the, the farm system as we speak. So with like that's like I said, twenty six and fifteen for the Great Lakes Loons. Uh, the closest team is the Lake County Captains and West. Michigan Whitecaps, who are four games behind them at a record of 22-19. and 19. Now, we just had a series last week home at Dow Diamond with the Whitecaps, and that was legitimately up for first place. We took the series 4-2, um, meaning we won four games, they lost two, or they won two. Because in high A, it's different than uh, regular baseball. It's, it's a six-game series. So whoever wins that series gets the edge there, I guess you could say. 
in opposed to the MLB, you got a three game series or a four game series. Very rarely you have a five or six game series in the MLB, or even a two game series. Sometimes you can have in the MLB. So with that being said, um, we did play them last week. It was a great week. Um, on Tuesday, Dow Diamond had a record of 6,900 some odd fans. Um, like I said, a record for however for how long that stadium's been open. I believe in 2009 or 08, one of those years. And uh, it was kids' day, so uh, granted, they were. It was a nice day. They the kids came and enjoyed everything, and they played along with all our um, promotions and stuff like that. We had instead of a beer batter, we had a root beer batter for the kids. Um, they did the what well, they did what we told them to do. So if we said make noise, they made noise. Uh, decibel units were loud. So it was it was a fun day there, and uh, that was the last kids' day at Dow Diamond. But if you are looking to come enjoy baseball, Dow Diamond is great for you. We got a promotion every single weekday. Um, we are on the road, like I said, for the next two weeks. But the two weeks after that, starting in June, we're home for two straight weeks. So beginning of June, so weather's getting hot. Come on down to Dow Diamond and uh, have some fun, man. Um, so... As for the players on the Loons, um, you know, I think Austin Gauthier um, is probably one of the most versatile, um, consistent players on the team because of the way he just battles at the plate. He's versatile, meaning he can play any position. He could play first baseman if you really wanted him to. Um, and if we ever got, like, needed a backup pitcher, our bullpen was out and... It was a bullpen day. He could probably pitch. It wouldn't probably be the best, but he could do it. Uh, Austin Gauthier, he's, he's one of the talented players. He's leading the Midwest League in a lot of categories with doubles, uh, triples, you name it, home runs. I don't think he's up there. He's not a power hitter, but like he's a contact hitter, as you'd say in the MLB. He gets on base a lot. His on-base percentage is up there high. Got to be in the 900s. So... You know, and then probably the most, the better power hitter on the Loons is Damon Keith. He he and Dalton Rushing are probably the best power hitters on the team. Dalton Rushing, he he's had a lot of praise coming into the season because he's one of the, I think he's the seventh best prospect in the Dodgers farm system at high A. Uh, he'll be in the league as a catcher, designated hitter, first baseman, whatever you want, wherever you want him. Uh, probably, I'd say 2025, somewhere around there. Um, but he'll definitely be in the league next. He might even get called up to Double A this year, maybe Triple A. I doubt it, but Double A he might at the uh, August July time ish there. Um, his players are coming up and down, flexing from you know minor league team to minor league team. But I guarantee you he'll be he'll be ready to go for the league. He's a great power hitter. Great catcher. Uh, well, I, I shouldn't say great. He's got some work to do at catcher, but that's why he's in the minor leagues. So he'll be ready when he's ti- when his time comes, and he won't be. He'll be a daily, daily um, player for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Uh, and then Damon Keith, he's got a little bit more time left, just because he's a veteran player. 2026, 2027, around there, he'll be in the league. Um, but he's. Like I said, a great power hitter. He's leading. He's tied for the league to, in uh, league leaders in home runs with seven of them. He's hit mo- done most of his damage at Dow Diamond, um, but when he he gets a hold of that ball, it's far. Like Dow Diamond is, is one of the parks that if you hit it out to left, there's not much space, not much out or not much. Um, I don't know what you want to say, like fan space to sit out there there's no bleachers out there there's just a little little bit of uh, lawn and then a concourse area and um when he when he hits it it goes into left field you know it's leaving the stadium it's going on to Buttle Street if you if you're a mid, fan of Midland it goes on to Buttle Street and we got a joke we we like to we like to sit joke around about um hits going out of the stadium with Buttles and stuff like that so as part of the Loons workers. So 
With that being said, those are just a, a few great players on the team. Like I said, they're they're one of the better teams in the league. They're definitely going to be making playoffs uh, coming up in September. I don't know much rules, many rules about what playoff games happen in the high A league, meaning I don't know if you get to host at Dow Diamond or if there's a neutral site, but it'd be pretty cool if uh, Dow Diamond got to host a playoff game. So be on the lookout for that. As always, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you later. Go Loons.